Drafters! Welcome, drafters, to the Week 9 Preview. Our top two teams remain the same as last week. The Attleboro Bombers and Ron OBJ both won their games, while Let's Go holds the number three spot over Bantha Fodder as they slip to fourth place after their third loss in four weeks. Show Me Them TDs moves up two spots into a three-way tie for the final two playoff seeds with Wolfpack Randy and the Purple Cobras. They are now separated by only 30 points with their 4-4 four and four records. Crooked Commission loses a close match to Not Vizul and slips into a tie with the Grease Monkey. Defending champs Finkel's Fanatics loses their fifth in a row and now sits at number 10. Eight teams are fighting for three playoff spots. Believe it or not, all still have an outside chance of making it given our top heavy league. Our point leaders remain the same for the top four with Run OBJ, Bantha Fodder, Let's Go, and Wolfpack Ready leading the league. And the Fanatics and El Diablo fall out of the top six with Purple Cobras and the Crooked Commission sliding in. Given how many teams are separated by only two games, every point is going to matter when it comes to playoff seeding. Let's get into the Week 9 games. In our first game, number 7 Show Me Them TDs faces the number 1 seed Attleboro Bombers. Show Me Them TDs moved into a tie for the final playoff spot with a big win last week, while the Bombers need a win to stay in first place. They're number one in record, but number nine in points scored. A loss this week could send them from number one to number three, just like that. With Breeze, Kamara, Cup, and Legatron on a bye, they start Alshon Jeffrey, Jacoby Brissett, and recently acquired Le'Veon Bell against Show Me Them TD's turnover machine, Jamison Winston, and wide receiver, Curtis Samuel. Bye weeks for Matt Ryan and Calvin Ridley are forcing Show Me Them TD's to rely on their bench to keep their playoff hopes alive. Next up is number 8, Crooked Commish versus number 2, Run OBJ. Run OBJ is on a 5-game win streak and now leads the league in points scored. The Commish lost a tough match to Not Fazul by .42 points, dropping them out of playoff seeding. They really need a win to keep pace, and with top wide receiver Michael Thomas on a bye, they send out recently acquired Chris Conley and Leonard Fournette versus the Texans in London, while Run OBJ looks to Tyreek Hill and Josh Jacobs to have bounce-back games. The big game for both is the Sunday night game where Tom Brady and the Pats play Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. It's a marquee matchup for the NFL and these two teams. Number 5 Wolfpack Randy takes on number 11 El Diablo, both teams coming off losses last week. El Diablo lost a close one as Run OBJ got revenge over their longtime rival and Wolfpack Randy lost by 9 points when a personnel move left them without a starting kicker and Dan Bailey's 16 points were left on the bench during the Thursday night game. Will this keep them out of the playoffs in 2019? They start Jimmy G and his newly required receiver, Emmanuel Sanders, against El Diablo's Vikings triple threat of Cousins, Thielen, and Cook. Dan Bailey is already set to start and hopes to avenge last week's loss. Another basement match puts number 10 Finkel's Fanatics against number 12 Not Fazul. This is very well a knockout game for both with 7 losses making it extremely difficult to make the playoffs even with so many of our teams at or below 500. The Fanatics are hoping for a big game from Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz. They're at home versus Chicago to counter Not Fazul's Matt Stafford, Mike Williams and Eagles running back Josh Howard. Can Howard steal enough points from Wentz and Ertz to knock out the defending champs? A marquee matchup in our top four has Bantha Fodder against Let's Go. These teams are both serious contenders for a first round bye as they hold the number three and the number four seeds in the standings and are both top three in points scored. A win could put Let's Go into first place overall while Fodder could get back to a top two seed with a win. This should be a high scoring affair as Bantha Fodder sends number one ranked player Deshaun Watson against Let's Go's number two ranked Russell Wilson. Surprise running backs Chris Carson and Aaron Jones look to give their teams a win with favorable matchups against the Buccaneers and the Chargers. In our match of the week, two teams fighting for a playoff spot square off as number six Purple Cobras tries to hold the final playoff spot against number nine Grease Monkey. 
Last week, Grease Monkey ended their two-game streak with a loss to the top-seeded Attleboro Bombers. They had poor games from replacements D.D. Westbrook and Aldrich Roses, as even with a big game from Aaron Rodgers, couldn't defeat the Bombers. The Cobras got their biggest win of the season by beating Bantha Fodder on the shoulders of huge games from Mike Evans and Saquon Barkley. Their combined 52 points made up for a dud week from Brandon Cooks. This game has big implications for both teams as a six loss nearly knocks out Grease Monkey, while a win for the Cobras could push them up as far as the number four seed. They send Philip Rivers, George Kittle, and Josh Brown against the Grease Monkeys' Philip Lindsay back from a wrist injury and Robbie Anderson with a favorable division matchup against the lowly Dolphins. Something tells me this is going to come down to which defense performs better, the Browns against the Broncos or the Ravens against the Patriots on Monday Night Football. All right, everyone, that's your preview. Good luck in Week 9.